Welcome aboard. I'm Captain Jake. We're back here this week for another episode of Order of Battle of World War II. The campaign is the Burma Road campaign, and we are playing the Kaiwakuk Pass scenario. This game was developed by the Aristocrats and published by Slytherin. And we'll just get right into this week's episode and see where it leads us. As always, we review our primary and secondary objectives. And uh, we have completed one, which is uh, defend Kaiwa, uh, the K, <laughs> defend the, the K town. And the second one is hold the mouth of the K pass. And uh, I butcher those names so bad, I just shorten it to K. So uh, that's where we stand as far as our primary and secondary objectives. So let's see uh, where we can continue for uh, today. So let's review the map real quick. Basically, our next objective is to move up to uh, the town of uh, Myapadang. Close enough. I'm going to call it Town M. Uh, is to recapture. That's our next objective. So we are moving our troops in that direction. As you can see, we have no siding. We're basically got our troops strung out along this road right here. We have a couple of forces blocking anybody coming up from this direction, and they're doing a darn fine job. Everybody else is moving. You can see that the Japanese have uh, moved in and taken uh kate the k town here and we have one unit of uh, that we have no control of that uh, is also blocking uh the japanese advance here so we have some colonial infantry down here that we have no control of so we're spread out we're moving our british forces you can see they have a very large force i'm hoping that they don't cut across the rough terrain while i'm moving up but we shall see. So let's get into it for today. Last week we lost an aircraft when they captured uh, this airfield. So we have uh, five command points for aircraft. So let's go look at our forces here and see that we did lose uh, our Bell and Bomber. And uh, I think we'll go with the... Uh, bomber doesn't seem to have uh, much effect so let's see what kind of aircraft those are the ones that have died let's see what we can purchase here let's see we got strategic bombers uh wellington's not going to do any damage we got uh, plenty of requisition points we got tactical bombers here See where let's see where those bow fighters okay they do come in just as, as straight up fighters so well let's see if we can resurrect this one dead unit here and we will reform this unit and Let's go back over here. Should have them. Let's see. Boy, there he is. The same issue last time I tried to deploy an aircraft that didn't seem to want to deploy. Those are alive units. That's great. But he's not giving me a deployment. And they're saying we can upgrade. But doesn't have any special traits. So... I can purchase more. 
I could purchase this guy. I could purchase and deploy him. Oh, why not? It'll allow me to purchase and deploy him. Use some command points for that one, but that's okay. Oh, come on. Just used up our command points for no reason. Okay, well, let's get into our turn then. They won't allow us to do this here. All right. I'm just letting them attack me. So we'll just reinforce him. And let's see where are our air units. Another air unit, just attempting to slow them down. All right, we'll worry about those. Let's see what we got. Can't control this one. These are being blocked, okay. Ah, I can see what the problem is going to be. These units, they're saying, are now out of supply. So they can't get supplies from the colonial areas. Oh, well, that's going to be no good. I don't like that at all. All right, well. Okay, we're just going to keep moving. Oh, well, this guy can attack. And that is a... Well... Oh, let them attack us. Now that my tank's in the area, we're going to move this guy. You see, apparently couldn't attack him, so there's no reason to... Uh, Waste the unit. Okay. There's my other air unit. A little help there. All right, he's got two. He's not moving. That should be it. All right. That's it for our turn 12. We wasted a bunch of points here for no apparent reason trying to get two aircraft. Don't know why I can't deploy. Those are the deployed units, and the are the alive units. Now allowing me to deploy. Don't know why I couldn't use this airfield. Would make no sense. All right, well. That's it for this turn. Let's move on to the next one. I don't understand why I can't move those, but let's see what happens here. Should be interesting. Oh, well, I'll take that. Throwing a little armor. Go on, Gurkhas. Uh, trade won't be a good trade because they're going to move around in a second. boom oh he killed him good deal <laughs> engineers ok 
Okay, make some retreat. Ah, probably advance another unit, kill him. Okay, they're fighting the, the lane action. Yeah, I uh, didn't think he would survive. See what the AI does. All right, that's a primary objective. Interesting. All right. Well, they didn't move up super far. Let's see. That guy could move here. And let's see where the nearest airfield is. Can he land there? He's got one turn left in the air, so. And him, this guy's got more turns in the air. attacks I haven't seen any other units come up that way so let's attack okay going to happen here. All right. So engineers, where's my infantry? Move this guy. Want to get him killed, but we will. Move him here. Aha, uh -huh. what do we have here? Japanese sniper and infantry and sniper. Japanese infantry, we got a glad to move around that corner, 20 millimeter gun. Another sniper. Oh, that looks like it for our let's see here. Do I have anybody? Range of my heavy infantry guns? No. 
and that's just an infantry unit all right he's good all right and in that turn Let's see what they do Wow, long range actually hit somebody. Well, that was an interesting move. Good, sniper moved away. Attack here, yep. Aviation is gone. Ooh. Cause he's dug in. Ouch, that hurt. Okay, executing the attacks. Okay. They're fighting hard. Okay, no change here. Move on to our next turn. Okay, and let's see. Aviation units still up. Realize that they're not going to damage. Okay, that guy is right there. This guy I'm going to pull out. Look good. All right, so. This guy. All right. Let's see who else I got to go. All right, get that airborne, get that unit airborne. Uh. Left. All right, he's staying there, digging in. Should be it. All right. Now let's see what these guys do. Good defense going back here. We're up to turn 14. Not quite halfway through. So, so just moving north. They're fighting pretty hard. We're, we're killing their units in the town. And we're healing up other units. So I'll take it. I don't know what I've been. I'm familiar with what this guy's doing. 
He's driving around and getting killed. That's what he's doing. He's driving around getting killed. Come back for more. Come on. Boom. I think that was a wasted unit. But I'll take it. Yes. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, I think that tank gun's gonna go away. Sorry. Order. Goodbye. Boom. Nice hole in the ground. So good. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Looking to see I deploy this guy this way. Okay, this guy, good. Get him all the way up to there. All right, we're gonna hold him down here one more turn just to verify if anybody is coming across any longer. All right, we got a good unit back here. Let's uh, interdict a little of their people. Okay, that should be the only unit. No, that's true. Now. Thank you, finally. Uh, let's see who else we got to move here. Just him. That's it. All right. It's the end of that turn. Turns are going by pretty quick here because we're just moving up. Fighting. Hopefully they keep fighting down here. Seem to be holding them up a little bit in the town. Ooh. Whoa! I don't know how they lost that much that fast. They are surrounded. Uh, they're probably going to go away. That's going to free them up. Unless they go after the units in their rear. Just keep fighting, that's all I can ask. And that should be it, yeah. Fixed in placement, they weren't going to survive very long no matter what, so... Oh, they could take them both down. They could uh, have the town... Oh, they're pulling back. That's kind of cool. Uh, 
Aha! See? I knew it. See, I'm dug in. Still lost one. But they lost three. All right. Here comes their stupid air unit again. Ooh, two. All right. What do I have here? All right. He cannot go that direction. We'll have to land. Spitfire can go that direction. Oh, no. Another wounded commander. All right, taking on two fighters. Yeah, I don't think I can get that far. So let's, now that we know there's some Japanese infantry in here, let's first off. guy here okay let's see all right he's gonna sit in this town he is strictly defense so we're just going to I wish I could get another air unit in the air. Yes, they're not allowing me to, to um, deploy that unit. I'm not getting any deployment areas. Well. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the force. Go here. Let's see. He can't move any further. Oh, well, let's see. Can do a little bombarding. All right, what do we have here? All good. Lose that engineer. All right. Looks like we've done everything we can do with the appropriate units. So, all right. On to turn 17. Okay, they are going after the units and gears that are in their back. Behind their lines, so depends on how long they can hold out. All right, maybe two back. What does this guy do? All right, good. They both flew back. Let's see here. A uh, little bit of air unit action going on. All oh, right, good. We can break this guy. We can start moving towards our objective, which I'm sure is that armor. Yep. 
here they come. They're dug in. Yes, they're making them pay. Making them pay. We got still got a wounded, wounded guy. So let's see here. Let's hit this one. This guy here. Oh, what do I got here? Sniper and a sniper. Well, I want to take out this unit first. I'll take care of this good that engineer unit. Alright, let me see. Um Alright, he goes here. Finally get rid of the sniper. All right, move here to there. Not seeing anyone. Move him here across the same point. All right, nobody to shoot at within range. Okay, and he's just staying dug in there fighting that guy. That's unfortunately a lot in life. And that guy is holding that area. Oh, uh, yes, right. tilted tank. Let's see here. I think we can hit that guy one more time. And four to one. Well. Nice. Got I gotta run the risk. Risk and good. Get all four. The risk and reward on that one was uh, pretty good. Pretty good here. Okay, he's saying. All right, that's it. Finish this turn. Let's see where they're going to be moving. They could surprise me by cutting across here. I hope not, but we'll wait and see. Durkas in that town are making them pay. Making them pay heavy. Okay, the sniper moved away. It's zero. Aha, see? More units feed them piecemeal. That's okay. Now make them pay. Make them pay. There you go. Okay, there's where the first their first heavy unit is moving down. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They're readjusting their attack. Okay. All right. Uh my timer tells me that we've done our 30 plus minutes for today. So I will do uh my turn here and let them do their turn. That way we'll start again uh next week with uh my turn so all right uh looks like we need to get him landed and let's see a good air support here this guy's 
airborne. Uh, we want to slow down just a little bit here. It won't do much damage, but hopefully it'll slow him down a little bit. I just landed. He's good defense. All right. No, they're going to have a lot of defense here. Let me do this first. Let's move him here. about took out that sniper he needs to be healed or uh, re replenished assuming this guy doesn't walk out on me here which that is British infantry which I want to block him from getting to that engineer tank Again, they're all showing slowly uh, out of supply, which is what you would suspect. So let's see, what do I got here? Gotta have a lot of uh, stuff sitting around here. I don't know where they would have pulled it out to or had it someplace else. All right, here. No. Right. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Yeah, I think this guy is good. All right. Let's see who else we got. No, he's not moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. He's not moving. All right. All right. That looks like it for our turn. And we got aviation units replenished or heading back. And let them do their turn. And then that will be it for today. So right now, uh, our Gurkhas in the backfield are keeping them occupied. We'll see if they start pulling up and start pulling out. They may leave that. Back. Okay, they can back up to attack and all right um, we knew that was coming ouch oh hurt their tank as much they have such light tanks uh -huh. my good <laughs> yeah come on Bring it up and get your butt spanked. That's okay. Bring your aviation units up to. Oh, I'm going to shoot that guy down. He's out. All right. Yeah. Feed, feed him into the grinder. I'll take it. All right. So, our primary and secondary objectives, nothing's changed uh, today's episode. We uh, still don't know why we can't deploy that aircraft, but we need to get up here and take this airfield. Uh, in case, once they overrun this one, we'll lose uh, any place to be able to uh, land our aircraft. So, um, oh, man, the aircraft went and hit on me. Don't know where they are. I know they're in this general vicinity, so we'll have to take care of that next time. So basically, center of the map here we are ho currently holding as best we can, uh, waiting for their attack. Uh, this unit down here is doing wonders keeping people from flooding across this, and they are trying to take out units in their rear. 
but I have two full strength, well, just about full strength units of uh, colonial infantry and Gurkhas in their rear, but I have no control over those. So, and over here in the far west, we are pushing on town M to attempt to complete that uh, secondary. We have no exit points, so we're not really trying to go anywhere. We're just going to push up here and uh, slog in here and attempt to take the town. We'll go for the airfield first because if we can get the airfield, then we can uh, have a place to base our planes. So, but that is it for this week. I uh, appreciate you joining me again on this uh, journey of the Burma Road campaign. I'm Captain Jake, wishing you fair winds and following seas. Until next time.